Welcome to Real Reviews. This week we're reviewing Justice League, the latest installment in the DC movie universe. Yeah, more behind the scenes controversy. Like Zack Schneider, if anybody doesn't know, he, they, he lost his daughter halfway or almost completing this film. Yeah, it's pretty much done. So he steps away and they bring in... Joss Whedon. Joss Whedon, who is a powerhouse in Marvel. Yeah. So everybody, like I'm thinking, everybody's probably thinking this is great. One of the worst parts about this movie is there was not really a clear vision. You can clearly see two different filmmakers made this movie, which kind of sucks. But overall, you got the gist of the storyline, the gist of the plot and everything. What's going on? The look of it is kind of night and day, some of it. Uh, but for the most part, not too bad, I would say. So it picks, off, it picks up with uh, Bruce Wayne, Wonder Woman, two parts of the Trinity. They're trying to put together the Justice League. They know something bad's coming. Yeah. Diana talks to Bruce. She says, okay, it's already here. This is what's going on. She gives him a breakdown. So the people that he was monitoring in Batman versus Superman, Superman, they go out and they get it. So Flash, Cyborg, Aquaman. So the first half of the movie is Bruce and Diana kind of wrangling these characters. A recruitment them. video. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, and then they realize the, the big bad comes about halfway through the movie, maybe a little less than that, Big Bad comes down, he has to collect these three mother boxes to destroy the Earth, basically just put it into pure chaos. And the Amazons have one, the Atlanteans, Aquaman's people, have <laughs> one, and humans had one. Right. And so he, kind of a generic bad guy comes down, needs this, uh, destroy the world, save the world, which I'm fine with, it's a superhero movie. Yeah. That's what superhero comics are all about, yeah, right? Of course. Uh, too digital. The bad guy and some of the cyborg, too many special effects. I said the same thing with Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. It was too much. Cyborg, like some of it, he looked pretty slick, but some of it, I was like, ooh. One scene in particular, he, he has like a side view and then he looks at the camera and his face is yeah. really distorted. I was like, ooh, that's kind of wonky. And the bad guy, Steppenwolf, I, I would have rather see just a guy in a costume. Almost. And then kind of just digitally Make enhance bigger, as opposed to you just know? straight CGI. I agree. And then obviously, like I, I'm a big uh, non-fan of like all the colors, like just drowning out. Yeah. So like obviously Thor, Guardians, I've said it. This one's no exception. The third act, you know, the last 25 minutes of the movie, the sky's oh, red. red, so you can't. It really takes away from what's going on screen, because you notice as soon as the sky goes back to normal, like I almost like side like with relief i was like oh that looks a lot better <laughs> so yeah. just heavy digital that didn't really need to be done uh most of the characters i liked wonder woman we all love wonder woman i still am a fan of batfleck yeah i was a fan the second they cast him and everybody's like boo me too boo ben affleck <laughs> uh i finally got to see the superman i've been waiting for for four years yes in this movie oh yeah spoiler superman's not dead uh, duh kurt yeah, the most. <laughs> the Trinity's back. Yeah, Aquaman, rocking oh. it. He's awesome. Jason Momoa kills it in this, and you know what? Aquaman's been the butt of every joke in DC <laughs> for ever. The new Fifty Two came along, they redid him like in the comics, and now this is the Aquaman that should have been around forever. He is here to stay. He is just super badass. Like, Cyborg's character, I was a little dicey on, but the guy who plays him is really good. I'm Ray still Fisher. gonna like. I don't want to see a cyborg movie at yeah. all. Flash's character, don't like Ezra Miller that much. Yeah. But man, does Flash ever look cool in this movie? Ah. The special effects for Flash, oh, like his movie, I want to see if they could just write Ezra Miller better or the character a little bit better. Yeah. Not so, like he's supposed to be the the laugh factor of the movie, but it's too much mm -hmm. and a little forced sometimes. It let it be like a natural interaction. They did it a few times. I'll give them credit I for that. I think like the the big thing with like Justice League and especially Flash, Green Lantern, like the the big thing is their characters. They interact. They have these relationships, and that's where I think a lot of the comedy is supposed to come through. But because nobody knows each other. I think the Flash uh, kind of comes off as like the comic relief, but like you said, it doesn't really fit because it should be a two-way street, not just him doing these quips and one-liners, right? Yeah. So hopefully we see something a little bit better down the road. That'd be awesome. But again, I was with you. Ezra Miller, I don't like as the Flash. Hopefully they change my mind. If there's another one. Yeah. I could but. get into like 
very detailed what I didn't like, but it was spoiling the movie. But lots of things were, things were sometimes a little too convenient. Then they draw, they drew other things out, like the whole Lois Lane thing. I was like, come on. I'm watching Justice League. I've I'm said not watching <laughs> Superman here. <laughs> yeah. I want to see more of Justice League. But that brings me to my next point. One of the things that kind of bugged me about this movie is Bruce and Dan are always like, we can't do this ourselves. Like, we need each other to beat this guy. Like, we cannot do this by ourselves. But then, when the climax of the movie comes, it's always pairs of people. Right. Like, I never once saw them as a, like, as a, like as a, a group. group. Like yeah. fighting together to do any to accomplish well, something. Well, that's not true. I, on a whole, they did. I will right. say that on a whole. Okay, they yeah. Did. But you know, it's gonna. It's like Cyborg you're, you're Superman gonna, or yeah, you know, you're gonna Flash hate and I Diana. said this, but Avengers had that one scene for like, like two minutes all of where them. all of them were all together doing, right. it, and everybody's like, yeah. yes. <laughs> like I wanted that moment in this movie when you know, like Aquaman would pass the bag up to Superman, he'd pound it down, and Batman would grapple him. You know, and Wonder Woman would, like whip with a whip, and Flash would run in and, like push him against the wall. Something like that, you know, but yeah. I didn't get to see that. But, like, I just saw the whole Justice League in a movie together. Like, that was so cool. And that's that brings me to my next point. You know, Marvel's been around for, what, 14 years? Am I getting a little bit tired? No, like, Marvel's so much fun, and I love Marvel. But this is, like, this is brand new. new. This is totally new. We've never seen these characters on screen together. It, same thing that was said, you know, with the Avengers back in the day. So for people to go in and just nitpick about this movie and the story was horrible, plot holes galore, like it's not true. I had so much fun and there's so many good scenes. Aquaman with the lasso of truth. Yeah. You know, there's a Flash and Wonder Woman where, you know, he falls off. Like there's so much to like laugh and giggle at that you leave this movie going, this was awesome. Like what was the problem? So it makes, it makes my heart hurt. <laughs> <laughs> There's people out there that just hate on DC just cuz. Let's just love DC and Marvel together. <laughs> <laughs> I think if we take Warner Brothers out of the picture, I get their hand out of the cookie jar. Yeah, what, slap Because any problem you see behind the scenes, it has Warner Brothers written all it's over a studio. it. studio. They put their faith in Zack Snyder, which I, we gave him a chance. I thought it was a mistake by Batman vs. Man. I'm like, clearly this guy doesn't know what I think he should be doing. Or he can personally. write a comic, he can write can't a, write a movie. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, as you know, it's not, Zack Snyder shouldn't be in, involved anymore in these movies, so then they were like, okay, people thought it was too dark, so just to be funny, and Zack Snyder's vision wasn't funny. You're like, Joss, make it funny in three months, you know? Yeah. And he's like, okay, <laughs> yes. Yeah, his hands are you tied. Know? Yeah. So you can't really, I mean, don't blame Zack Snyder, because he's hired to do his vision. He did his vision for the first three movies. I don't like it, I don't agree with it. He can't blame Joss Whedon, because he tried to do what Warner Brothers says, probably to get to do his Batgirl movie, right. which he's going to do. Yeah. So Warner Brothers, just butt out, man. Just I leave know. Jeff Johns to pick his directors, write their own stories, and it'll be fine. It'll all be fine then. So on the whole, Justice League, a fun movie. I enjoyed myself. Maybe give it a little slack, you know? <laughs> They've been through a rough patch. Yeah. But embrace it. Embrace yeah. it. You're about to see like you're some not of the going cool to... You're about to see some of the coolest characters yeah. in comic books on the screen together. So <laughs> just relax. I'm gonna give it a seven. I think it could have been better. It should have been better, but it is what it is for now. For a guy who has a few <laughs> tattoos of DC characters on his body, and for me there was a scene where you see Green Lantern, automatically another point to my rating, eight for me. An eight? Well, it's spoiler free, it's not the Green Lantern, no. it's a Green Lantern. Yeah. But we won't get into but that. But still. Whole thing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, don't forget, go to our Facebook page and give it a like and give it a review of Justice League a like. Tell us what you think. Yeah. Do you think we're dumb? Do yeah. You think, you know what you're talking but about, that's, Marvel rules. There's no way. Everybody's <laughs> with, with us. Yeah. Uh, or, yeah leave, <laughs> sure they are. <laughs> leave that going. Uh, any one of those things get you entered to win a $10 gift certificate to Perkins Family Restaurant and Bakery.